Oh, oh, hi, hi guys. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of my little sketchbook that I have. Um, this is my new one. Um, I've had this for about three weeks and it's actually pretty big and piled up because I've glued a few things in there and it just somehow makes it rise. But yeah, let's start. I'm just gonna give you guys a little tour of my drawings and show you guys what they look like. So I'm quickly gonna start off with the cover. I'm not gonna put too much detail into this because it's just the cover. So here, I just say that they have side profiles, which her nose came out a little too long. Uh, Mr. Butthead has to be included in like every single sketchbook cover because that was like the first character I ever made. And I think I was in um, kindergarten and I got bored in art class, so I drew him. And yeah, there's a little flower and there's more on the back, but I will show you guys another day because I'm trying to get through the screen. Okay, so this is my first drawing. I'm not very proud of it. Um, I used to like it, but not anymore, because I don't use this art style anymore, but I guess it was okay, because I bought new markers. I don't like this drawing either. I did these two on the same day, but they're both very nice overall. I like the colors I picked. Okay, for my next page, there was definitely more to this page. Uh, this one, I accidentally colored at the end, and I ended up not really liking it but i thought it was all right this one i was drawing with my left hand which is my non-dominant hand so this is the hand i was using and i don't really draw with that hand so it turned out um very not it so i had this paper i i used to have like this like these acrylics and i painted a bunch of drawings or paintings i was like i'm so abstract and i really liked them so i just like drew over this so for her um I'm not, I know her character, no, I don't know her character name. I forgot her character name, but she's like this really heroic character. And I tried to bring out the details, like her hair, her outfit. And this was more my old art style. Her right here, she's a flower. I just wanted to make a flower, like a person. So I tried to blend everything in. And I just like went with some um, alcohol-based mark. No, they weren't alcohol-based. I went with some oil-based markers to go over it to so it just adds some more details. And I watercolored the backgrounds. Oh, I don't like this one as much. This is very okay. So this one, I was trying to recreate a drawing I made. Uh later on I added these. It's not my favorite drawing, but it's actually very good. I've I've done this thing a few times. Okay, so for her, I was just trying to do this thing. So, if you don't know, um, it's where you just draw something and then you bring out the main details. So, I want to bring out the details like her eyes. Uh, she had golden eyes, so I just decided to get, pick the golden eyes. Um, I want to bring out this. So, it's supposed to be a blue scarf. Um, I want to bring out her hair because I was actually very proud of it. And, yeah. Okay. So, I don't really know what I was doing with this one. Um, I just, like, I wanted to draw and I drew something. But this is like, okay, if you look here, I took this off like a little um, Elmer's glue thing. And I actually really like this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be Cassidy from Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm just, okay, not this one either. Sorry, I have a lot of drawings. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so this was a failed attempt. If you guys know who she is, she's a Biki Miyota. And I was drawing her and I was like, seeing, I was like looking at her character design, but her eye came out too big. And at the end, I just was like, okay, maybe I can fix it. But I didn't end up fixing it. So it's just a scratch piece of art. But I want to show you guys because it's like, um, it's a nice little mistake, you know? And it's very nice. Okay, so this one is also a little scratch piece. Uh, I forgot who I was trying to draw. She was like this girl from this movie from the 80s. But um, yeah, there wasn't much about her. The, she had a sketch layer and I got bored and I drew shapes. But then I realized that this, like you had to sketch out of it. But this is my favorite part of this drawing. And yeah. My favorite thing was actually her sleeves. I was very proud of those. I don't know why. Okay, so this one is weird. It, this is also a scratch drawing because I never finished this part. There's supposed to be more. And, okay, so if you guys know who Meet Mew 2 is, I tried to make her name short and then I just did a bit of scribbling. I never got to finish the face, but I never finished coloring, but I actually really liked it. Okay, I have like a little bookmark for which ones I was going to make. So I need to find it. Oh, here it is. Okay, so 
this is a beginning of a new drawing. This is one of my favorite drawings. I really liked her. Uh, it was my first, like, side profile thing. And I thought she turned out really nice. I even added, like, things. And I even added my names. I loved it. Um, I tried to add as much detail as I could to her, like, um, face. But I didn't, you know, have the time. Okay, and let's show a few more drawings before we just move on. Okay. Okay, so here are some of my tests. I really liked what I did for the other one, so I drew another version of her. Just, you know, more buttercup like from Powerpuff Girls. And I really liked her. She's like an old scratch design. Uh, I had this, like, character book coming going on where she was supposed to be the princess, but I never finished it. So I decided to just make her a test page for my watercolors. Even though it's still a watercolor book. Okay. Okay, these are the ones I'm more proud of. Okay, so this one, I'm very proud of this. When you turn it to the side, I drew this little like little face. And I was actually very proud of this. I just really liked it for some reason. And then I drew her on the top again. Um, I think I gave her the name of Inzilla from a book. But I really liked this drawing. And yeah, there's more to the drawing. But I will show that another day. Okay, so this one... Um, this one, I really like that art style, so I drew a character with it, and I use these cards, and I just really like this drawing. I just love, like, the little colors and everything. It's one of my favorite drawings, personally. You guys can take a nice look at it. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't have much time to finish it. There were definitely more detail, but I really, really love it. Okay. I tried to do that again, but this time, I put more or less detail into it. And if you can't tell, the watercolor went everywhere, and I kind of scratched it. But, you know, I still I still really like it. It's really cute. I just need to see which one's next. Oh, this one's next. Okay. Okay, so for this one, as you can see, there's, like, a little alien girl here. Uh, she had more to her face, if you just move it right there. And I really, um, I really like it because there's, like, more to her face than much. I think I was trying to do a 2017 stereotype art there, too. But, yeah. Oh, this is the next, this is the other same page. Okay, so this one is, like, a, a weird design choice I made. I don't know why, but I just really, I don't know. Okay, and... This is going to be some one of the more last drawings I show you guys. Uh, I was very proud of this. She's supposed to be, uh, I remember, I don't remember, but she's a creepy pasta character. And I just really like the way I drew her. And we only have a few more pages to go through. Okay, oh, these are the last two pages. So this one I did first. Um, I tried to do the K through 12 edition. Like, you know the art style they use for K through 12? Um books and the coloring sheets and the music i did that um i drew a gingerbread girl and i drew a gingerbread girl and yeah i just drew her name and a little smiley face and this is the last one uh you guys probably know who this is this is crybaby i'm pretty sure from the albums and everything uh the coloring book i didn't really want to get so i just like drew her i'm not exactly done with it but if i finish it i want to show you guys in a video or maybe i'll just do it in the next video i just need to finish her nose and some extra shading and everything but that is the last drawing i did uh, because the rest are just like empty and everything but yeah that is the end of today's video i will see you guys next time and goodbye